We're getting ready to go to China. We're leaving in a week. Tell me what you're most looking forward to about the trip. Probably the experience of seeing the culture there. Uh, I realize it's an educational trip, but still, to see the Great Wall, to see uh, the other side of the world, things nothing like what we have here. I've not traveled internationally at all, so it'll be a it'll be quite an experience. Oh, absolutely, Great Wall of China. Um, you know, one of the seven natural or seven man-made wonders of the world. Uh, you can see it from space. It's um, one of those things that I think truly will be an experience of a lifetime. So I really am looking forward to the Great Wall of China. Great Wall, five thousand miles, twenty-five feet high, amazing, centuries old. It's going to be very cool. We think we have a sense of what hospitality is and what. Uh, being friendly with others is and and I thought that about myself until you go to another country like China and just the concept of just the friendliness and hospitality it, it, it's just uh, a level above what we have here Whew, the best advice is to understand uh, that there's differences in our personalities and cultures and ideals and you're a guest in their environment, and you need to respect it and uh, be aware that they do things a little bit different than we do things. To be honest, just do some sightseeing because normally when I travel for business, I don't have an opportunity to do that. And I know on our itinerary, we have the Great Wall, we're going to Tiananmen Square, we're doing a lot of extra things. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how business is done in China, but just the interaction with our classmates. It's just going to be such a great bonding experience for our class. It's just going to be a great time. So that's really what I'm looking forward to. One, it's going to be a nice time for me to get away um, from work and kind of spend some time, you know, getting to know everybody a little bit better. I think uh, it'll be nice to see everybody kind of outside of the classroom environment. You know, China itself, I think there's a lot of uh, stereotypes. There's a lot of different things that you know, when you think of China, you think of, you know, manufacturing, millions of people, you think of those types of things. So it'll be a, it'll be a good chance to see how realistic those, uh, those views are. Well, I guess what I'm looking forward to is the culture and trying to see how different they are from what we are, you know, and, and looking at, you know, are they similar or different? And, I mean, you hear so many different things. I'm taking a rocket, I'm packing my suitcase, and look out more. Our first visit in China was to Lenovo, a Chinese computer company. They had humble beginnings starting off with a one-room office and now have just moved into a new modern office complex. They are now a world leader in the PC business, having recently taken over the IBM PC business in the last few years. Now, Lenovo's focus is development of light, small laptops with longer-lasting batteries and the pursuit of the latest technology. Lenovo was a major sponsor of the 2008 Summer Olympics and designed the Olympic torch used in the opening ceremonies in Beijing. Our visit to Coca-Cola, I found that very, very interesting and informative. Um, a lot of in uh, information about the demographics, doing business in China, the different markets and how things are different in China versus the United States. Um, it was a fantastic building. I sure would like to work there. It looks like they keep the people very happy and entertained and obviously then more creative. It was very, very interesting. We visited Armstrong, located just outside of Shanghai. They started in the U.S. and moved to China in the mid-1990s. They primarily manufacture ceiling tiles with distribution throughout the Asia-Pacific area. During our visit to Armstrong, they had an admirable safety record with zero lost time accidents and over 3 million hours worked. They had 240 personnel that worked three shifts. And of note, all the employees as well as management are Chinese. We were impressed that Armstrong used many recycled materials to make their ceiling tiles. Um, and obviously, in my business, um, you know, China is a very important um, country for us. We import the majority of our product from China. 
And I thought it would be interesting for the class to sort of have a look at um, Lee and Fung and sort of the inner workings of their company um, and how they facilitate um, trade for retailers in the U.S. because they are the largest agent in the world. So um, I, I approached Lee and Fung about it and they were really excited. I uh, asked them if they'd ever done anything like that before and they hadn't. So they were very willing and, um, and excited to have the opportunity to present their business to a group of executive MBA students. So it really all came together very well and uh, I was a little nervous as far as how the presentation would go since they had never done anything like this, but I thought they did a great job and I thought they gave a really good, you know, 20,000 foot view of sort of trade and how China plays and how their company plays a role in trade as well. And getting some sense of how business is done. I think that I think that's enormously important. But one of the things we also try to build in is the um, idea that that you should be exposed to the uh, services that are available through the embassy and the consulate. Uh, so the commercial service meeting that we had, I think, was enormously helpful because now you know the resources available to you. Same thing with the Ohio Department of Development. Um, Ohio is very much trying to promote uh, exports to all different parts of the world and they have people on the ground in places like Shanghai and Beijing to help us do that. So understanding those resources I think makes you better uh, business people and gives you, gives you a lot more potential.